what up it's miss bars in the building and this video is about cj so cool now y'all see what happened you know the last situation all the drama that him and royalty and his baby mom and royalty baby father all that shit they was going through and i remember cj said um basically he called his baby mother he called them little people and people were hitting me up saying that he needs to be more humble well, it looks like life has humbled him. You know what I'm saying? He made a video and he was showing how he bought a mansion for $4 million. And it's called uh, So Cool World. And he was basically showing how it's falling apart. And that's crazy. Like, soon as he started living there, the first day, they said the refrigerator broke down. The um, electric is constantly going off because of the appliances that are plugged up. And, you know, they have a lot of video games and things. So basically, he was saying that he was putting on a front to the world, making it look like everything is perfect when it wasn't. He even said in So Cool Land, things weren't perfect, but he tried to make it look like that. I told you guys this already. And what's crazy is it's a lot of children who will see a mansion and a bunch of kids having fun. And they believe that this is what goes on 24-7 and they want to live there. I remember when my niece, I was talking to my niece on the phone. And she was watching one of the videos when they were in uh, So Cool Land. And she was saying, I want to go there. I wish I could live there. And this is exactly what I told my niece. I said, just because people show you a certain thing does not mean that's all there is to see. A lot of things go on behind the scenes that are not good, but people don't. You're supposed to put out your best. You know what I mean? You want to inspire and motivate people. Well, for people that's looking to do that, you put out your best. But to be more realistic then you will put out a little bit of some real shit so people can know these people are actually real people. Because it's just ridiculous to think that anyone's life is consistently fun. Like, I'm talking about every second of the day. Someone is, everyone is excited and everyone, no, that's, you're not a robot. You know, and things happen. Things break down. The lights cut out. Like, sometimes things just happen. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I just wanted to say, you know, if you don't humble yourself, if you don't humble yourself, life will do it for you. So now CJ is in a position to where he had to get lawyers so that he could get out of the contract, you know, because he bought a house without having someone go and check the wires and everything. I remember when my mom bought a house one time and she made sure she had the uh, person who comes through. What is that? What is it called? Um, inspector. She had the inspector with her. So they checked through the um, drop ceiling and everything. They checked the wires. They checked the, uh, the heater, the water heater. They go and check everything that a person wouldn't look at. See, we look at the things that's shiny. Like, oh, we got an indoor pool and an outdoor pool. We got a jacuzzi. We got all this stuff. But we're not trying to look at how it functions and look at the wires and see how old it is. So now he has to go and buy a whole new house. And he's hoping to get out of the situation that he's in. He just better hope that that paperwork and everything goes smooth. Because sometime when that amount of money is involved, you run into a lot of problems. So I am glad that he got on camera. And let the people know what's really going on, okay? Now he just has to stop lying about the comment section being cut off by YouTube. Because we know that certain channels turn that shit off when they don't want to hear what you got to say. And they don't want you persuading people, um, people's opinion. Mm, they don't want you swaying people's opinion to go your way. So they'll just block it so they don't have to keep filtering their comments. Because once you got a certain amount of subscribers, filtering your comments is very annoying. Going through there to try to see who's saying what and what comments you want on your, your channel and what comments you don't. So when you got 7 million subscribers, you can imagine, right? So, yeah, he's going to keep saying YouTube turning it off. But yet you can go to uh, the McClure family, McClure family and other families with babies and see that the comments are on. So anyway, that's pretty much what I wanted to say. Humble yourself. Be it's okay. It's easy, actually, to have nice things and be humble because you know what it took to get it. So, therefore, something inside of you should say, humble yourself a little bit. Don't be too, I got this and I got that. Yeah, look at this. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, that's just not how to do it. If you're going to show somebody what you have, show them. But all that extra shit, acting like uh, you're you're just entitled to it and you didn't really work for it, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? If you know you work hard for something, show the process of, you know, what it took to get it so people can follow that. This is why some people say, um, I used to watch such and such, or I used to watch such and such. 
Because once they become a big YouTuber, meaning their numbers and their subscribers, they start to change. It's no real, it's, they're not real anymore. You remember when people be, um, you know how when people are in a basement or in a back room or in a small apartment or whatever, they, they're so relatable, you know, and more transparent. But when they get bigger, they start to change. And this is one of the things I respect about Queen Nigel because she's remaining to be herself no matter what comes her way that's big. You know what I'm saying? She's still uh, genuine to who she is. You see what I'm saying? And that's what the key is to keep your fan base happy and for people to continue to watch you that used to fuck with you. But all right, y'all, I'm going to end this video here. Let me know what you think about this below because a lot of people were hitting me up saying that he's not humble and all he do is show his shit and he flashy and that's corny and that's why I don't watch him and all this stuff. But, I mean, look, humble yourself or life will do it for you. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the comments. Make sure you hit that like button for me. Drop me a comment because I do be checking y'all out and responding and stuff. And um, I have something very important to bring to y'all right now. I am now doing readings for your children. And I don't mean for me to get on the phone and do a reading for your child. I mean, if you want to understand your child's astrological energy, if you want to know why they act the way they act, what kind of teenager they're going to be, what kind of adult they're going to be, what kind of relationship you'll have with your child, or just anything you want to know about your child that you don't understand. I can help you with that. Because, you know, most parents will say, I gave birth to this child, so I know my kid. No, you don't. Trust me, it's a lot of things that you don't know because it hasn't happened yet. So I can help you to actually help them direct their energy. I can help you to be a better parent to your child because you'll understand who they are and not who you're building them up to be. That's two different people right there, guys. And that's why, you know, a parent will get disappointed because you have a certain way that you want your child to be instead of first understanding who they are. And with that being said, I'm going to stop the video here and I will see you guys in the comments. Let's get it. One second, guys. Um, I want to say something real quick. Because somebody on my community post was, you know, trying to tell me what I can't do because they can't do it. Guys, don't ever let someone tell you what you can or cannot do just because they don't know how to do it. I ain't mean to say can or cannot, but cannot. People will often look at your idea or what you're already doing and tell you it's not going to work. Guys, I've been doing readings for a long time now. And it's, it's something that I don't plan on ever stopping because I'm helping people to get a better grasp, a better outlook on their own life, okay? Uh, ways to handle different things in their life that they find difficult. I'm helping them with their debilitations, guys. So for someone to come along and say, and I understand she probably tried to give me some constructive criticism by saying create another channel, but she said... They're not going to take you serious because you're a T channel. They have been taking me serious because I take myself serious. You understand how that works, guys? When you take yourself for a joke, other people do too. But when you're serious about what you do, that word is going to travel as well. And people can see that you're serious about what you do. You're serious about yourself, so they take you serious. Whatever energy you're putting out there about yourself is how people will look at you, no matter what you're doing. So I just want that person to know it's already working, sweetheart. That's like the third person I've seen recently to tell me that since it's a T channel, um, I shouldn't do it on this side because it's not going to work. Well, it's working. I love it. This is the best thing I could have ever done was introduce my, you know, gifts and talents and skills to this platform. Okay. Um, yeah. So pretty much that's it. I want you guys to keep that in mind for yourself. If someone tells you you cannot do something, look at them and see if they have that ability. Because it's nine times out of ten, ten times out of ten, they don't. Okay? And with that being said, I'm going to get out of here for real this time. And let's motherfucking get it! Team Bars.